All right, so we're just going to get right into it. As you can see, we have three different Nishiki Willow kits, all by different brands, but they're each in a sleeve containing six canister shells, all of which are five inches in length. Each one of these Willow kits was $40 in total plus tax, and over here, these ones are just called Nishiki Willow by Flashing Fireworks brand, five inch cans. These ones here are by Wind of Fireworks, and this is called Rainfire Nishiki Kamuro. Again, five inches. And last but not least over here, it's just standard five inch Nishiki shells. It looks like a tiger wearing a crown. And this is by Sky Song Fireworks. And last but not least, we have the five inch Nishiki shells by Sky Song Fireworks. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember where I got this shell kit, but I do know it was $40. And I can tell you that I got this one here at Wholesale Fireworks in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And this one I got from Wild Willie's Fireworks out of Nebraska. Now in this video, all three of these Nishiki Willow kits are going to go head to head in a competition. So we actually have a mortar rack designed where we have three rows of six and we're going to be lighting these not at the same time, but we are going to be comparing the footage at the end to see which kit is the best. And part of this comparison is going to include the box, the tube, and the shells and what they look like, whether or not they are numbered and labeled for effect. Let's go ahead and start over here. So as you can see, the only thing on this box by Flashing Fireworks is the main label design there are no effects listed and no numbers on the box over here with the rain fire by wind of fireworks we can flip it around and as you can see it just has the main label design as well there are no effects and no numbers anywhere on this box over here on the far right the sky song brand we'll actually move that a little closer you can see the effects are listed on the back of the box right here you have three effects and then if we flip it around there are another three effects making six in total. You can see the item number and barcode right here. And on the other side, you've got a QR code with instructions on how to light it. So as far as the outside label goes, this is the winner right here. And now we're gonna be comparing the quality of the tube that you get inside of these shell kits. So over here with the flashing fireworks tube, you can see it's a bit longer than the rest. And you can really see that when I put them side by side. So this one here is about a half an inch taller than the other two. Um, this one here is actually kind of sloppy. You can see that label folded up over the top and it just doesn't look that great. Um, this one here is kind of a thinner tube, as you can see, whereas this tube right here has the thickest wall in comparison to the other tubes, and you can see that. Um, that does make a little bit of a difference if the shell breaks in the fiberglass tube, and this tube is going to be least likely to have a full blow apart, and because of that reason, this tube is going to be the winner for today. Even though it's a little sloppy up here, you can't get past that safety point with the thickness of that tube being just a little bit better than these two. And now we're going to be taking a look at the quality of the shells. So starting over here with the Nishiki shells by Sky Song, we'll take a closer look. And as you can see, we do have the item number on here and we do have the effect listed out like that, but there is no number on this shell. So unfortunately you can't make a number system, not really a big deal when you only get six shells in the kit. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is no plastic top and the fuse just comes out like that. So no number system on this one, but the effect is on here, which is good. Next one up is the Rainfire Shell by Wind of Fireworks. And you can see the fuse is very similar, but it's kind of looped around. This one does include a plastic top. Not sure if that's going to make a difference here. And the effect is incredibly hard to see, but it is right there. And so it's very small, very hard to see. But other than that effect being listed, there is also no number system on this shell. And last but not least, we have the Flashing Fireworks Nishiki Willow shell right here. As you can see, a very reflective foil on there. I am a big fan of that. No plastic top on this one either. And the effect is very visible right there. So no numbers on this one, but the fuse, it's gonna come out just like that first one did. Fuse was a little hard on that one, but these are very easy to pull out. This is what all three shells look like, leveled and put together. I actually leveled these on the table and then picked them up. And as you can see, this one on the right, which would be that shell kit by Sky Song, does have the edge as far as canister shell length. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say that this shell over here is the winner simply because it is very easy to read the effect on there. And they actually put this little thing behind it so it's even easier to read where they did not do that over here. And if you get the reflection right, it is very tough to read that. And this one here is almost impossible to read in bad lighting. So this one here is gonna be the winner. And the final comparison is going to be seeing these shells in action. So what I've gotta do now is get all three of these kits loaded up into this mortar rack, which is called the Spread Out Mega Launcher by LongAcreLaunchers.com. If you guys are interested in picking it up for yourself, I'll leave the link in the description. Otherwise, we're gonna get this thing loaded up and test out our three Willow shell kits. All right, check it out. We have all three of our Nishiki Willow kits fused up in the spread out mega rack. And we're gonna be doing these sleeves one at a time, starting over here with the five inch Nishiki Willow cans by flashing fireworks. So we'll go all six of those. I'm gonna have two camera angles on this the whole time. After that, we'll go into the next one and the next one, and we'll see which one wins. Sometimes willow shells in particular are hard to see in wide angle. That's why we got two angles out here. So here goes the ones by flashing fireworks. All six, one at a time. Oh, I love that, look at that. It's almost coming all the way down. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> that red was beautiful. Look at that, all the way down. Oh my God. Look at those shells. Oh, it's still up there. All right, well, those are gonna to be tough to beat, but next up is Wind of Fireworks Rainfire Nishiki Kamuro. Let's see them in action. Maybe these will be better than the last ones. Again, six shells, one at a time. Oh, they definitely break harder. Not as good on the willow effect, but these are way louder. Yeah, these ones are kind of sloppy. That last one was really nice. Look at that, still hanging there. Um, but definitely the ones by Flashing Fireworks were better. And last in line, we have the Nishiki shells by Skysong Fireworks. I don't know, they're gonna have to beat not one, but two different Willow kits. I bet you the Flashing Fireworks ones are gonna be the winner, but we don't know. We still have one more kit to light. Here goes Nishiki by Skysong Fireworks. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, these definitely have the best Willow effects. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, look at that.
Well, I'm just going to go ahead and give the win to Sky Song because they had the best willow effects. You know, these are Nishiki willow kits, so they do have to excel at the willow effect to beat the rest, and I say those definitely won. Hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. We'll see you next time.